first I'm going to start by saying welcome to the team. Welcome to the investment and property team for Teal Hill. Um, I would like to start by knowing a little bit about your history, so your education and maybe a bit about where you started. What were you doing before Teal Hill? Uh, gosh, OK, yes. Um, so I joined Till Hill um, from doing some postgraduate research at Newcastle University. Uh, my, my career is, I, I've come around full circle to forestry after 20 years. It was always something I wanted to do after university. I read biology at university and, and planned on getting into forestry, but life got in the way. And um, I ended up joining the army after 9-11 and spent some time abroad and then um, I worked in sustainable finance for an American bank, JP Morgan, and it was that working in that that really got me motivated and passionate about being closer to closer to the environment and closer to people um, investing in in the land and how we use it. Um, so I decided to go back to university to read a masters in forestry at Aberdeen. Uh, from there, I um, was very interested in working in forestry. Um, I received the the prize from Till Hill in, in 2019, which was which was very exciting. Uh, I felt very very privileged to have received that. Uh, and I was working in tropical land use, particularly forestry in in the tropics in East Africa. Um, and then the the opportunity to Till Hill uh, came up uh, early this year, and it was an opportunity too good to refuse. Um, so I changed tack and, uh, and now I'm combining my experiences from my career in finance with my with passion for forestry to help clients create new woodlands, benefit the environment, but also generate returns and, um, and provide incomes and livelihoods through forestry, which is very exciting. How do you see uh, maybe forestry changing and investments changing and what and your role changing maybe throughout time? Well, I think for, forestry is changing as as the role of forests in helping um, stabilise and fight climate change is becoming more well known, um, but also the wider benefits from planting trees to to the environment and also um, providing livelihoods where traditional agriculture is 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 suffering or declining. Um, adding to that, there's, there's a lot more interest from investors who wish to be a part of this, not not just to make a return, but also to be part of something bigger. Um, to help change, help drive change. Uh, and so with that, I think what we're seeing is there'll always be a place for, for the commercial forestry that, w that we've known for the last few decades. Um, but there are more and more people coming into it, seeking a commercial return, but also seeking to, to do some positive um, environmental good. Um, and, you know, they will still need expert investment advice on finding the right property that suits their objectives, be it planting trees for timber, be it planting trees for sequestering carbon, um, for biodiversity benefits or, or just for amenity benefits. Um, and so I think more important, it's more important than ever that there are advisors on hand um, with the knowledge of the market, knowledge of properties and the knowledge of the way that the forest forestry industry works to help guide them into owning those properties for the long term. Um, so yeah, very excited to help help be a part of that um, and uh, guide them through the process from from buying the forest and managing it in the long term. Brilliant. And do you feel like Till Hill is unique in any way in what they offer? Yes, I think Till Hill is really is unique, it, not only in terms of scale, but uh, but also in terms of the, the breadth and depth of expertise. Um, you know, we, we have representation across the UK, not, not confined to the centres of commercial forestry in Scotland, for example. You know, we, we have people in Wales, we have people in the north of England, the centre of England, the south east, the south west, which means that we can help clients wherever they may live or wherever they may be looking to, to own or manage forest properties. Um, I also think that from my experience so far, there really is a genuinely positive, open and welcoming culture um, and a cultural client service, which is ultimately what it's about. We're here to look after our clients' interests um, and look after their forest properties in a responsible way. And, and that's something that struck me uh, from the moment I joined. Absolutely. Thank you. That 
that's wonderful to hear. Um, also, we've been getting a few questions lately, which I think could be a good one from you. And the question that's come up recently to me, is forestry truly sustainable? There are, there are many ways of looking at sustainability, but I think if you focus on what it's really about, which is about enabling an activity to persist indefinitely into the future um, with that, without causing negative, um, negative impact um, on people or, or the environment associated with it, then forestry, the way that it's practiced in the UK now, particularly through Till Hill, sustainable forestry, it's all about allowing those activities to persist indefinitely in a way that reduces the impact on both wildlife, um, the local communities that live near forest sites, being sensitive to, to the needs of, of those people. Um, so I think it is sustainable. Um, it's very much a focus on planting the right tree in the right place for the long term. Um, and it, through focusing on that, forestry guarantees that you know, the right crop or the right product is produced for the for the forest owner. Um, the impacts on the broader landscape and ecosystems is minimised and it's something that brings the local communities along with it. Thank you. So what are you looking forward to the most about your new job role? What I'm really looking forward to the most, and I've, I've started to have a little of it so far it's but it's been difficult with during lockdown is is getting to know the people across the firm um particularly across the areas that i'm you know nominally responsible for um, in the borders and north and central england there's some fantastic forest managers some fantastic people in the company um, and it's been great getting to know them through teams meetings but um, i'm really looking forward to at some point in the future being able to to get out in the forest with them and, and speak to them in person, uh, talk about how they see the industry developing and the opportunities for their clients. Um, and the other aspect, of course, is is working with our clients to help invest in forest properties. Um, um, so, so the other aspect I'm really looking forward to is, is helping our clients invest in forestry. Um, existing forests, certainly it, it's really exciting. There are some beautiful forests out there. Um, but more importantly, as we look towards fighting climate change, is, is helping clients um, convert land into new woodlands um, and to do our bit in that respect. Um, so, yeah, very excited to be working with our clients as well. Brilliant. And how can we encourage more people to invest in forestry and creating new woodlands? I think there's a lot of a big aspect to this is is getting rid of the misconceptions about what forestry used to be um, and making people aware that actually if they would if they just get out into their local their local forests where they can they'll see that it's not what a lot of people say they're not barren deserts of sitka spruce they are when they're well managed very diverse structurally and through wildlife um, they're lovely places where there's a lot going on. Um, so I think you know, that there's a, there's a responsibility on us to help where we can through social media or marketing or just conversations every day of, of, of just explaining people what explaining to people what we do and what the forests that we work in are really like because all the ones I've been in are lovely places to spend some time, you know, from looking at red squirrels and deer and listening to the birds. Um, or the plant species in the ground floor. There's, there's something there for everyone um, and we just need to to get the message out. Um, so on behalf of Teal Hill, thank you very much for today. Well, great to meet you, finally. Have a good day, bye. Bye, thank you. Bye.